Today I'm going to show you how to make a keto bun recipe. It only takes about three to four minutes to put together and a minute in the microwave. I'm going to show you how easy it is and it's very tasty. It's very versatile because you can swap out your spices for whatever type of meal you're going to have. And let me show you the ingredients. You're going to need a half teaspoon of garlic and a half teaspoon of onions, a tablespoon of baking soda. You need a tablespoon of virgin olive oil, three tablespoons of organic spelt flour, and to top it off, seasoning, and then you need a pinch of Himalayan salt. And all you need is a mixing bowl, the bowl to pour your mix in to put in the microwave, and a little cutting board. That's all you need to get this recipe going. The first thing I'm gonna do is gonna add the flour to three tablespoons, one, two, and three. Just a pinch of salt. That's all you need, not much. And then one teaspoon of baking powder. A half teaspoon of garlic. Half teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon, tablespoon of olive oil. One egg just thoroughly mix that all up together until it batter is thoroughly mixed okay once you get the batter thoroughly mixed you see all the ingredients no clumping everything's good next thing I would do is in the bowl that you're going to bake it in take a smidgen of olive oil just to grease the bottom of the pan grease the bottom of this cooking bowl Your little brush just thoroughly mix it around it'll help that'll help get it keep it from sticking and then just pour your mixture into your mold doesn't matter what kind of mold if you want to do a square one but just remember this is a bun so it's going to raise up in the middle it's not like flatbread Just make sure smooth it out make sure it's nice and even and then you just want to pop it in the microwave for a minute put it right dead center now this is a thousand watt microwave so one minute is perfect and you see take it out you put it right over here let it cool off for let it cool off for just a minute. See, it's nice and fluffy. Okay. You just turn it over, and there it is. And you can see how nice and thick. It's just the right consistency for bread, even though it's still amazingly hot. And then all you gotta do, just cut it, cut it in half, and then let it cool down. And there you go. Moisten the top of the bread with some water. What I'm going to use this time is a little bit of taco seasoning. You don't need to put much, just enough to get a taste of it. And there you go. Let it cool off and it's ready to rock and roll. Okay, now that we got our finished product on the keto bun bread, I'm going to make a hamburger for you. Hope you enjoy. A bit of mayonnaise on the top and bottom. right there some lettuce tomato a little bit of salt and pepper and there we go look how look how juicy and delicious that is And believe me, it's good.